Hello everyone and welcome to the WCTV Executive Vodcast. My name is David. I'm Kyle. I'm Matthew. Uh, I want to say something I'm going to say. I'm going to speak first. We were talking before this and you brought up something that interested me. Something I've noticed with Pittsburgh is when you guys say about doing something, you say uh, that needs taken out. That doesn't need to be taken out. Example. Okay, well, right there. The trash needs taken out. No, it needs to be taken out. You're not finishing I mean, the sentence dramatically there. It's definitely to be, but that is a Pittsburgh thing. Yeah, no, I've noticed that. That's completely Never noticed Pittsburgh it in thing. my entire life. That's a thing? Yeah. Yeah, you should just said it. Sorry. You should not, yeah. Less than Born 30 seconds Pittsburgh. before starting this. Um, you were, to be honest. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, question for you. Has he earned the right to just say he's Kyle yet? Why? Because, you know, we be? started off with, like, I'm David Cross, the news oh, director. Oh. I mean, He's been on like three shows. Has he earned you're that? Not, you're not a recurring character. <laughs> yet. I'm Kyle Dawson. I'm the sports well, no, director. His problem is he's on TV. There, he's his problem is he's a recurring <laughs> character. He's not a main character. Eh. Uh, so another one. My is character just died off for a couple of days. Glenn, <laughs> dumpster. Another one that I've been exactly. Another exactly. one that I've noticed is Pittsburgh says uh, needs whatever, and you leave out to be something be. with. Where I'm from, I don't know if it's a Philly thing because I again I'm, I'm a, I live in South Jersey. I'm like three minutes away from Philly. Sean was amazed at how quickly I got from Philly to my house after that <laughs> rally in, in uh, Philly. When I'm doing laundry and I'm gonna put something from the washer to the dryer, I said I'm gonna jump the laundry. And nobody I've noticed nobody what are you here talking? nobody here knows what that means. I it would make sense. It makes sense to me. But I'd have to think about yeah, it. And I have, life. when I was a freshman here, I had a senior on the team, on the cross country team, that was from Jersey, and he fully understood what that meant. And as a junior now, there's a sophomore on the team who I said that. He was like, oh, okay. And everybody else is like, what do you, what do you mean? What are you, what are you gonna what do? Mean? What I think that? I think you said that to me this weekend, and I looked at you like, jump your that, laundry. That's why I remembered it. Yeah. But but like, I, it makes sense. It's just that like. It makes sense to me. That's jump the, your laundry? That's the way of saying it. No, that's it. fair. That's the way of saying it where I'm from. I don't know what else. Just like move it from the washer to the dryer. Like, like a Heinz, like a Heinz ketchup versus like a regular Hunt ketchup. I don't know what ketchup I prefer to be honest. I can picture the bottle in my fridge right now, but I don't know what it is. I don't eat ketchup enough to really have an opinion, but I don't know that I've ever eaten ketchup that's not Heinz. Yeah. And if I have, I don't remember it. So you guys are Pittsburgh fans, but you eat Hunt. No Heinz. No. Oh, you eat. I don't, Heinz. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I've eat, ever eaten I will ketchup not that eat isn't ketchup Heinz. that is not Heinz. So you don't know if you've eaten ketchup that is Heinz. Though. It also doesn't taste the same. Yeah. I will. Okay. I wouldn't I be able so. to tell you the difference. There's a difference. You'd be able to tell. Is there? A difference I'm sure between, there's a difference. Is there a difference between Pepsi and Coke? Yes. Oh, yes, significant. Absolutely. Is it enough to make you go never drink Coke? Yes. Uh, I notice a difference. But no, because like, I, I like it's them both. Sugar water either way. I like them both for different reasons. Um, I feel like Pepsi is sweeter, so it satisfies that feeling, but Coke gives me that like acidic burn of pop that I have an addiction to because I've been drinking my pop. The acidic pop burn of pop. Also soda. It's pop. I've noticed that- You're outnumbered in that conversation. Yeah, it's start pop. Two to one, I think we can get- There's not a doubt here. in my mind. The, it's pop. Uh, I've noticed that I like the idea of Pepsi being called sweeter, Yet the amount of sugar in Coke is still absolutely ridiculous. Well, it's the flavor. It's yeah. it's well, other it's other things. I think there's Coke products balancing. that are better than Pepsi products. Dr Pepper. When I first prime example. When I first came to college. Dr Pepper and Pepsi are very close, actually. Yeah. What are we talking about? Dr, Dr. Pepper, Pepper and Pepsi, Pepsi is a closer comp comparison than, than Pepsi and Coke, Coke and Pepsi. I agree. I I could argue that, but um, I I. Um, before I came to college, I honestly didn't know people still called it pop. <laughs> yeah, I old thought Western that, PA. I thought that was just like a Welcome to our lifestyle. 1950s reference that people made. I didn't know that was still a thing. I grew up not knowing what soda was because it's pop. It's pop. Uh, that's that's an it's exaggeration. Not, but. And it's a clicker. It's not a remote. I, that one I me. did not hear it called a clicker until I was about 14. Huh. I have a friend back home that calls like Xbox controllers calls them paddles. Huh. Sticks. 
is the only other thing I use besides sticks. Yeah, like I, give me, throw me, give me the sticks. I would not know if we were playing Xbox and you told me that. I would not know what you meant. Sticks or controller? I don't know if I would. I say controller. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's it's just a controller. Wow. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I just thought, said I've heard. I don't even. Sticks. What what else would it even be? It's uh, just a controller. Yeah. Sticks. No, the sticks are what the camera's on. No, those are tripods. They're sticks. Tripods. Yeah. Three sticks. Tripod. That Tomato would be tri tomato. sticks. <laughs> three feet. There's three feet on the bottom, but connecting the bottom feet to the top is uh, sticks. Fair enough. Well, pod is foot. I will agree to disagree. Hey, we're not the, the sports uh, Actually, pedal podcast is foot. anymore. Oh, we are the way. Yeah. Okay. For the first time. In weeks, we the have the right durance up. And did we plan angry. that? No. I we didn't plan that at all. Why? The train angers me. Why? Because it's annoying. You must why hate football why games. Why? No, no, no. Why? That's the part. It's partial, partially why I hate him. Because train. Because he's a production just, person, and when the train goes by, the whole audio portion of the broadcast the goes low to low key, like whatever fair festival event this is with kettle corn on High Street, I want that every day. Um, I'd have to say that that is probably a uh, rain day. Yeah. Because kettle corn's the goat. Because it, it looks... It's a pop for yeah, people are wearing t-shirts, so it's not the Christmas parade. And they got an umbrella, so it's, like it's a sunny day, so yeah, it's looking like a rain day type of deal. We, we, have, we have a day here in Greene County where it's rained like 48 out of the past 50 years, and they call it rain day. It's a, it's a big thing. Yeah, big it's thing. a it's big thing. It's an excuse to party. Have a festival. They usually have a five k that day too. Of course, I, I mean pe people, people in general, just constantly looking for reasons to have festivals and parties. I don't blame them. Festivals are fun. I mean, like you know, I'm I'm gonna turn twenty two in a couple it's like months. Like fun community days. Yeah, but like I'm gonna turn 22 in a couple awesome. months, and uh, do you guys go to the same? That's high insignificant. Will I have a birthday party? Probably. I don't want one, but probably. So wait, you guys went to the same high school? Yes. Yeah. What is Where has your you opinion been? of each other changed since you? Came I to think college? less of him now. That's nice of him to say. <laughs> so wait, did you guys? How, how many people were in your class? 323 or 320? 320. So it was 320. Did you exactly. guys know each other pretty well in high school? Yes, we worked together like every single day. We were the TV guys in high school. We didn't have a TV department. Mm -hmm. We Shame had a TV on you. Well, it was well, we kind of did, but not really. Shame on you. Yeah. Shame on your school. His thing was the telephone. My thing was the lift up. We were the TV group. That's cool that you guys have gone to school for eight years together. Nope, middle school too. I heard it's a year. I heard, I heard <laughs> that we played baseball together, summer travel team at eight years old. Yeah. I like that idea. Like, I can't imagine, because I go to school, what, six, five and a half, six hours away from where, I think the closest person to me is WVU. And I think only like two or three people go there. Huh. I, would, I love the idea of someone that I went to high school with coming here. I would be so good friends with them by now. There's what? There were six of us from our class. Yeah, I think one's gone now. No. Is Alina still here? No, she's still here. I've seen her around. Are there any other ones that I know in uh, the department? No, no we're the only two in the department. Uh, one plays football, one Jake plays Diego. softball. I don't know, two play football. Tevin plays football. Yeah, Not Jake bad. and Tevin. Um, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And then uh, one there's. used to be slash is a nursing major. I don't know if she ever switched out. She came here as a nursing major, so. I don't think she is anymore. Yeah. Either way. Um, and so we had six and then our graduating there's class. One person who's a junior now, I think. Yeah, that's that's from Plum, but I never knew her. I think there's another one too. I think there's a sophomore. There's a kid with I see it on Plum soccer jacket all the time. Uh, but I don't know. That's cool. Yeah. I wish that happened. Wish anybody I knew. No, nah, see, I was trying to run away from high school, never go back. I mean, well, can't don't get go, away. Don't you go to school like an hour? Away. Hour and a half. I never go back though. It could be a little worse actually. I don't. I don't have a car. I never go home. Just let it all out, Dave. <laughs> let it all. Out. I mean, look. There's two ways to get away from home when you go to college. You can either go really far away and physically be too far to go home, 
or you can just go somewhere and not go home. I wasn't too worried about like I I Tegan makes fun of me all the time because I, I liked high school. I don't know what you guys thought. Like, I, did, I didn't mind high school. It was it was fine with me. So like if, if like I, I wanted the chance to go away. Like I, I don't I don't like love to go home. But it's like yeah, go home. That's cool. Obviously the most exciting part of that is no homework. I didn't mind high school. I just don't go home because I'm busy on the weekends. Yeah. So. High school. High school was absolutely miserable. High school. High school. High school. You want egg roll with that? <laughs> from from high school. I like high school. High school was awful. Yeah. It's probably my poor choice in friend group, considering I'm not friends with them anymore. So that explains that. Um, do you still hang out with anybody from high school? I've had this talk with a uh, bunch of people now. I talk to one kid about once a year. I talk to another kid occasionally when we're at home. And then there are two girls that I talk to semi consistently. Yeah, not that don't this is of people that don't go here. I don't count people that go here. We go to college together, we didn't go to high school yet. <laughs> I I think it's like me and like five friends are the only five that like consistently like hang out and we get back. And it's like we don't like talk all throughout school because we have our own stuff to do obviously but it's like me and like a group of like four or five people that hang out when we get back see i had a problem in high school where i didn't really fit into any stereotypes because i was an athlete but wasn't into what athletes were into but i was a nerd but i was an athlete so i didn't fit in with nerds so i was this like weird in between that just didn't fit in. Isn't it 21 Jump Street where they they make fun of that? How it's like, there's so many I more groups. So, yeah. there's just there used to be like now. five groups where it's like, I'm not even going to get into that. But there's like yeah. five different groups and now all of a sudden there's like a million because people start like combining. It's yeah. basically like elective courses become cliques. That's it's like fair. theater, band, that's sports teams. Well, at college level too, I think that's true. Oh yeah, that's exactly. Even it's exactly. Like, we're I mean, I'll admit up here we're a clique. Oh yeah. Well, we don't have a choice. Yeah, but like, at the same time, like, we don't... I, a I lot have of us a, don't branch out. I mean, I mean you're, you play cross-country. I've lived with baseball guys, and Dave, you played baseball. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going around. I If you asked me to name 10 CJ majors that weren't on the baseball team, I wouldn't be able to do it. I pretty much only hang out with the company. I don't, know if I, could name, I don't know if I could name 25 people uh, on the campus I don't, like that aren't on a sports team. <laughs> And aren't calling majors. I don't think I don't hang out with baseball. Oh wow! Anymore. Could I do that? I don't know if I could. Oh, name wow. how many people that aren't like maybe twenty five. Maybe that's a little low because I think everyone knows I people from class. Yeah. But maybe not like, even from class. How well, many yeah, people like, do we have on this campus? Like a thousand, fourteen hundred, something like yeah. that. Um, I don't think I could name a hundred. See, I had another similar problem when I came here, as I did in high school, where I was an athlete but didn't get along with athletes because I'm not interested in anything similar. Like, we had a, we had a meeting this year with uh, the senior baseball players talking about what we were going to do going into the season, and you know, I'm not supposed to talk about most of it, but I think the one thing I can say is I think we need to do something outside of baseball more. Like, when baseball goes bad, everyone's at each other's throats because all we have with each yeah, other is baseball. Good. And I looked around the room and said, Honest answer, how many of you would be my friend if we didn't play baseball together? One person raised his hand. Jake Meyer, because we're both comm majors. And, and, and it's nothing to do with like them not liking me. It's just that we don't have similar interests. Like, we, yeah, if I we didn't have baseball, we wouldn't get along. So I when baseball goes poorly, team togetherness starts to yeah. fall apart. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think I could honestly name 100 people outside of sports teams in this department yeah. on this campus. I'd have to say, write them down. I, was I say, think I could make it to 100. I'd have to write them I down. Know if I, could. Like, I was going to say, I think we have the advantage because as comm majors, we cover all these sports teams. So, yeah, we, so know we know who people. they are. But like, if I was just like that casual college student, I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, you ha if, if we made the stipulation that you if you put an athlete down, you have to know them outside of them being an athlete. Or... In my case, like I played baseball, I can name baseball players, but and so I can't those, name football players because I worked Wusen. So many of those athletes that I know also do comm. 
I'm saying in general, I don't think if you took out the sports teams altogether, I could name 100 people outside of the common world. I, I think I would struggle. I think I'd at least come close. I would probably get to about 75 and have to stop. Because I know a lot of people. Maybe not very well, but I, I think, know a lot. I think part of the problem is we're just up here too much to actually branch out. Exactly. I In my New Testament CJ class today, or in my New Testament class today, um, I made the comment, or someone's like, I can't wait to go take a nap later today. I was like, what's nap? It must be nice. Is that something that people who aren't in this building for 16 hours do? It must be nice. <laughs> and, and I had, uh, the girl who sits next to me knows that I'm up here, like, Mondays all day. And then... I had two other girls just stare at me like, what is wrong with you? And then two prospective students like, that, that were like in class with us, like part of our group, literally like terrified, like, no, what do you mean? Did you have a bunch of students come into your classes today? Like pers prospective I only students? Had, I only had a bio class, which we had a test, so I don't know if they would have put people in there, and then theater class, but for history of film, we didn't have any. There, I, was, there were four in my new test. Like I, I think by two o'clock, they're gone. I had three come in, and they didn't know, my teacher didn't know that they are having students come in. That's convenient. Yeah. Did Good your did your, did your uh, professor know? Yeah. Um, but again, he's, it's uh, Josh Sumter, who's in charge of kind of administration. He's up okay. there with ministry the administration and stuff. All right. Yeah, it's a New Martin, Testament. My professor didn't know. It's one of those classes. If they you would think they would tell them. Yeah. We were also taking the quiz. I feel like that would be one of those campus-wide emails that we get. That's just like, hey, by the way, there's a visitation day on Monday. One of those ones that I instantly... Be nice to students. <laughs> yeah. I, I open them, read the top segment for anything that might be specifically re relevant, news and, and then just move Woo on. news and the ITS emails are the worst. I like every just now and then. Like, it for, like for, uh, here's, here's my point here. Every now for, and then I'll read them. But. For a non-com major... That's probably fine because they don't get 20 emails a day. Yeah, I already know about everything going on. That's yeah, right. About all the emails. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. But like for a, this is this is disclaimer. This is not a knock on any other major at this university. But business majors, just picking one out of the blue, CJ, I don't know, psychology majors, they're not getting emails constantly. And I know people just from talking to people that literally don't check their emails. And probably have 200 emails in their inbox, which blows my mind. Like, think uh, about it. Like, first of all, I hate the notifications. I can't have the little red dirt, red. Dirt oh yeah, there's people. With. I think it's your former roommate, Derek. Yeah. I saw his phone one oh, day. He's got like six thousand unread it's emails. Unbelievable. Like, what are you gonna do when you go out into the real world? You gotta read email, dude. Like, like even if you're not like us, who emails. get like. I know that can be get fair. Yeah. Like, get, like, I, like I have, I have a iFunny on my phone right now has nine nine hundred six on it because I just haven't looked at the app, and I get so frustrated by the oh. little circle with the numbers. Well, we're gonna talk about go, that. that well, I, I have to go me. right. I have to go and clear the notifications. Like I have a YouTube just, notification of a video that went up that I'm subscribed to that I should watch. That makes me angry. Was it WCTV? It might be the Clinton rally that I went to. You should go check that out. And there's another one where it's like mail. I just turned my mail off because if I get like three emails and I'm like, you know what? I'm sitting in class. Can't look at it. Obviously, I'm just going to like do whatever. It still bugs me when I turn it off, yeah. put it in my pocket and can't see there's the three, three but I know it's there. I yeah. I get roughly 20 emails a day. And like, I at least check them for any information I might want and then move on and then just move on. Like there will be some that I open up like I get a uh, recommended jobs from Indeed uh, which half of them aren't even like remotely close to like my field. I get like recommended jobs for like a waiter in the middle of nowhere. Heard you're going to be a waiter in the middle of nowhere. You know what? If it pays. <laughs> um, <laughs> no and then and then but like I'll get, you know, a GameSpot newsletter, and I'll open it up, read the headlines, see if I want to read anything. Most of the time I don't, and then just move on. Yeah, emails are straight up clutter. So thankful for the clutter folder now on OWA. But um, I'd have to say that email has been replaced by Twitter. Those, those mm. newsletters and everything, those newsletters point. and everything that you, 
get over email that like fill up spam that people talk about, like those for the most part are a dying breed because nobody is subscribing to them and if you want them, you're following them on Twitter and getting everything in that newsletter and more from your Twitter feed. That's fair. Yeah. I follow like six gaming news Twitter profiles and that's how I get all my news that's important to me. For I wrote for a uh, Philadelphia sports, mostly Phillies news, uh, website back home, and I've noticed that we get more stuff on Facebook than we do on Twitter. Yeah, like we'll get we'll get population. we'll get more yeah, clicks yeah. on Facebook. We'll get more shares than retweets, and we'll get more likes than favorites. I I think the reasoning for that is that Twitter is like I you see a lot so of tweets. I see a lot of tweets, but you use your. I do, I'm not immediately spirit. like. It's not you know Facebook puts it real big, like big headline, big picture. I see a picture of my favorite sports team. I'm clicking on it, but Twitter is like just scrolling through real quick. You basically have to hit them at that time. Like That's if you post it at two o'clock, you're only going to get people that are looking at it between yeah. two o'clock and two fifteen. Because beyond that, they're just scrolling past it. They don't even care. That's Facebook true. prioritizes differently and doesn't have as much spam posts on it. Well, I mean, I, I mean, just like random. Like that's because today for lunch, I had a meatloaf. Sandwich. Well, that's also because um, when we were like ten years old and got a Facebook, we clicked all of these like pages, like yeah. SpongeBob. I went in and deleted all lines. Those. Like, I wish I had. Like I didn't get Facebook until I was in high school, so I didn't even yeah. I didn't have to worry about the, going through that. The thing that I dread, the, of like, because you know when you're when you're young, you're always told like be careful what you post on social media because one day you know they might look at that. Be there. And I've uh, I I mean I posted a few swear words. I've never said anything like really bad, but I recently went through. I deleted anything I ever said on Twitter. That's all gone. I deleted anything. There's like a two year gap, like between 2011 and 2013, that I didn't go through because there's just too many years. But I went through and deleted a bunch of stuff from Facebook from me being the dumb kid in high school. And, and honestly, if you're an employer and you're going to take something from 2011 when I was 15 and hold that against me, Fair. I, I, I was 15, now I'm 21. I'm a very naive. different person. It's not even indicative of anything about me at this point. And it's not like I said anything that bad that it's going to like kill my reputation. Yeah. It's just like a swear word or something. All right, we've been going for a while now. I've got let, let's have one thing and then we can Well, hold on. The thing I'm terrified about, my MySpace is still out there. I never got a MySpace. But but for the longest time if you searched for me, first off, if you search David Cross on Google, all you find is the comedian famous actor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've done that. But if you search David Cross Plum, the only thing you could find was my MySpace. It it was, like, right at the top. Wow. For the longest time. Deleted it... Deleted it six times, and it still was there as, as it was, like, deleting it does not actually delete it. It just means that your page is there forever, and... The way it was. You can have access whenever you sign back on. Like... You delete your account, which just means that you don't plan on logging in again, but it's still going to be there. Yeah. I have, I've since tried to log back in. I, I was going to individually go through and delete every picture and post and just Can't purge my huh? MySpace. I think it's, a, it's officially like deleted my account. Like my account is permanently gone, but the page is still there, except I did go recently because now I'm hunting for jobs and try to find it. And it was really hard for me to find. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Is there a MySpace? Maybe not. I had all the social psst, media. Psst. Almost left me hanging. Sorry, I didn't all see Alright, so, dream job. Because you guys are both seniors. I'm a year away, but still. When uh, when you graduate, what's that, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 years down the I road? I get that being in. You'll be able to finally say... Six months. I made it. Um... I'd have to say that, you know, I talk about rooster teeth a lot, but I don't necessarily want to say that, like, that's my dream job. It's just that that kind of work is my dream job. I like the idea of working on this big, diverse, like, 
they were they have so many different kinds of shirts. What if you created that kind of a thing? I'd be totally okay with that. I've thought about it. I have a friend who runs a Call of Duty news channel with close. To, I think he may have passed fifty thousand subscribers. I'm not sure if he if he hasn't. He's very close. Um, and I've talked to him about setting something up, like me being the background, him getting himself and a couple other guys together and starting something. Um, I've I've considered, uh, you know, the people here. Like when you leave college, that's the time to like do that, like take that risk, because if it works out great, if not, you're a young kid. You gave yourself how many years of experience trying to do that, and now you're yeah. uh, now you're available in the job market. And as long as you didn't put in like thousands and thousands of dollars into it, you're gonna be okay financially. Um, yeah. So I've I've seriously considered starting that, just like going around to some people here, like getting a designer and you know a, a talent person, and just bringing a few people together, starting a content creation company, and seeing where it goes. And it's something that if if I found the right people, I'd definitely be willing to do. But hmm. that'd be interesting. I just I just want to work on creative content. Yeah. Um, I. You know, making the same show day in and day out. If it was a good show, I think I could. But I yeah. think a diverse group of content, like the best people in the creative industry don't work on one thing. They work on a lot of things because if you only work on one thing, you have a one-track mind and sometimes you lose it and you can't get it back. Well, that's when you go over to your other thing, work on that for a little bit, and most of the time that'll be like, you'll have something click while you're doing that. Like, oh, this would be great over here, you know. And... Yeah. Dawson? I don't know. I, I, I've wrestled with it for a good year and a half now. Uh, not only, I mean, obviously I want to do play-by-play -play somewhere, um, but I don't know what sport I want to do yet or what I would want to as a dream position, what sport I would want to do. Um, I don't know. I think everyone would say they'd want to be a, a broadcaster, a in our case, the play-by-play -play voice of a professional, Pittsburgh as you would say, a Pittsburgh team. But, uh, I mean, and Lanny said this all the time, and I don't just say that because, don't just say this because of that, but if, if I don't know, if the Chicago Cubs, you know, or this, you know, I don't, I don't hate the Cubs, I don't, you know, I always, people in the Pirates fan base, they hate the Cardinals, they hate the Cubs. It's like, I don't, hate the Cubs. I don't like the Cubs. Um, and I have always really liked the Cardinals. Like, as a Pirates fan, I never had a problem with any of the Cardinals. Um, if the Cubs came up to me and said, we want you to be the play-by-play -play voice on radio or on television of the Cubs, I wouldn't turn yeah. that down. How, how, you can't. How could you turn that down? You can't. Yeah. And even if they even if they were to say, like, we gotta, we'll have a position opening up in, like, five, six years, we're going to send you down to AAA and you're going to be the voice of our AAA affiliate for five years, and then when that job opens up, you'll be the number one applicant for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where I want to be when I graduate. Uh, I haven't decided whether I want to try to chase a job somewhere, if I want to stay and uh, do what I'm doing now in high school sports, because, you know, I, I'm one of those weird broadcasters. I think the the thought right now is that the prep is really boring and you don't want to do it. I'm one of those weird kids that will literally stay up and lose sleep just to prep because I find it fun and it's weird. But at the same time, um, I think that'll get me somewhere. But I, I don't know. I, as in terms of a dream job, I'd love to say just I would love to follow the kind of career path that Lanny did and be the voice of a, a baseball team or whoever, whether that be football, basketball, baseball, uh, yeah. be the professional sports guy, and then retire from that and just do high school sports on the side. That would be cool. Um, I don't know, though. Uh, ask me in April. I'll give you a better idea. Will do. How about you, Matthew? Uh, I have no idea. I, I like I. You have more time than us, so I, I've thought. I've thought like. Well, I think the dream job is a timeless sort of thing. I think you just have to figure out where you want to go. It's changed first. for me. Like I want to do something in the Philadelphia market, being a Philadelphia sports fan. I 
I interned with ESPN Radio, and halfway through that, I was like, yeah, you know, I could see myself doing this for a little bit. Like, this would be pretty cool. And then I got done my internship there, and I was like, yeah, I would love to be able to come back here and, like, just get, like, my own air shift and just do that. Like, you know, once a week, if they need somebody to fill in, that'd be pretty cool. And then I came here, and I was like, you know what? You know, I like interviewing. That, that interviewing, reporting, that's a pretty fun pretty fun part of the job. You know, if I worked with CSN Philly, which is the equivalent of Root Sports, if I did that and just interviewed, you know, professional baseball players, football players, hockey players all the time, that, that'd be pretty fun. And then i do the news, and it's like, you know what? I like anchoring. Anchoring is a lot of fun. Being a sports anchor would be pretty cool. And it's like... Same thing with broadcasting, same thing with writing. It's like, I could honestly be okay with any line of the communication job that I do. You, you want to be talented. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind to be, or I wouldn't mind to be like a producer, director, something like that. I just haven't had enough. I, I haven't put myself in the opportunities to do that as much as We're working on that. You've I been could. directing a few newscasts. Yeah. I mean, I, I would like to do, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know about live uh, sports game producing. Like, sports show producing, I think, would be more of my... Directing a live sport is nothing like anything else with sports. Because, I mean, it, you, you're the no, sports you're guy that's been doing all this yeah. stuff. I'm the guy that over here that, like, I can't stand sports. I really enjoyed directing them because you're not... Directing a show is just completely different from anything else... It, like it, it's completely separate from what you're doing almost because it's almost like I compare it to like playing a video game because you control all these pieces and you tell them what to do and you have to accomplish certain goals you know and I compare it to being in you know like a strategy game it's just it's totally different than like the topic that you're actually shooting of course you have to understand it to a degree to be able to do that, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like five years. I feel like in a month, all of our dream jobs will change. But I feel like in maybe five years, we'll uh, we'll all see that path. I've had the same dream job since I was sophomore in high school when I started doing TV, and I started to think like, this is real. I can do this. I just and it's you not just need that one chance. It's not like. Again, I, I don't limit it. To, like, Rooster Teeth has been my inspiration to do everything that I'm trying to accomplish. And that's because they're so good and they're such a big deal in that area. But it's I'm not saying that, you know, I, they're my... They're the only dream job I have. Like, if I was doing the same thing for another company, just making creative content all the time, that's just what I want to do. I want, I want to make people laugh. I want to make them cry. And... I just want to make stuff. As 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 unprofessional as that sounds, in in my line of work, I want to make stuff is ex is perfect. I feel you. Chuff feel, in the words of Twenty One Jump Street. I say that all the time. Retweet. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching this edition of the WCTV Executive Vodcast. But if you tune in next week. There might be three guys sitting at this table in the exact the same, same clothes, same continuing to talk about the exact same stuff. It's almost like we're recording a second episode of, for over Thanksgiving break. Bye, everyone.